In this video, I'll show you how you can track any custom event in Google Analytics 4. So let's get started. Let's say we want to track users who clicks on this button, get waxy now. So let's head to our Google Tag Manager container, click on the default workspace icon, and then hit the plus icon over here. Give your workspace any name, and this is just to separate our work with the live environment that we have in Google Tag Manager to avoid any issues. So I will not go through this since I already have this workspace created. So let's click on this one, go to Tags, hit New, click Google Analytics, and select the J4 event tag type. You'll need to add your J4 measurement ID. So it would look something like this, G-123, and the ID would be unique. But for my case, I already have the measurement ID stored in a variable called J4 ID. Here you need to input an event name for your event, and this is the values that you'll be seeing inside Google Analytics 4. So for us, let's name it click underscore waxy. The reason why I've added underscore between click and waxy is because GA4 recommends sending the event names in this way, in this structure, without having any spaces. So instead of doing a space, you should be adding an underscore. That's it for our event. Now we would need to create a trigger for that event. So G4 can fire or Google Tag Manager can fire this event when a specific trigger happens, which is the click itself. I already have a click ready to be used in here. It's this one. And if you don't know how to create triggers in Google Tag Manager, click trigger. I have added a video in the description below where I show you how to create any click trigger that you'd like to have using Google Tag Manager under five minutes. So make sure to watch that video. But for us, we'll just use this trigger. The final piece here is giving this tag a name. So this will not affect how this event is represented inside Google Analytics 4. This is just for Google Tag Manager and how the tag would be named inside Google Tag Manager. But again, this is the value that we will be seeing inside our Google Analytics property. So let's give it a name. I'm going to name it G4 plus event click waxy and hit save. To preview this tag to make sure that it is working as expected, we're going to hit the preview mode over here. Once this menu pops up for us, we'll need to add our website URL and press connect. Now let's click on the call to action that we have built the trigger based on. Let's click on the call to action and go back to our preview window. Let's close this first pop-up as this is the new page that we just opened. And this is the page that we opened first when we navigated to the website. So as you can see, here is the click event. So we need to click on it. And then over here, we under tags, we can see that our tag have been fired successfully. This means that everything is working as expected. And if you clicked on the tag, you would see that the event name for the tag is click waxy. And this is what we will be seeing inside Google Analytics 4 for the event name. Now let's go back. We can also do something else. We can click on the measurement ID from this menu instead of having the Google Tag Manager over here. So click on your measurement ID. And from the left side menu, you would see the event name in this time, not the click. So the click here as is, but you would also see the event name additionally, unlike GTM, which will show you the click only. But in this scenario, under the head sent section, we are not seeing anything because this is not my measurement ID. This is my measurement ID. And when I click on the click waxy trigger and this or hit from this menu, you would see the event was sent to my property along with all of this automatic details. Once you test the tag and make sure that is working as expected or firing as expected, go back to your Google Tag Manager workspace that you have created the tag in it and make sure to hit the submit button over here and publish the changes as if you did not do this step, these changes wouldn't be applied to the website. They would be only applied to the GTM users who are previewing this workspace. And that's it. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. If you also have any questions or any topics that you'd like me to cover regarding web analytics, please make sure to drop them in the comment section down here so I can get back to you. This was Ahmed and yeah, see you on the next one.